Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we use Trello to manage our social media content at my company. We spend a lot of time developing learning resources for our clients and also for real estate professionals, land surveyors, land title folks, land developers, and others. And so a big part of, of making sure that we're getting the value out of that content is making sure that we distribute it in an organized and methodical way. So I'm going to show you the system that we're, we're using to do that. It's not perfect. <laughs> it's a work in progress, but it may help some of you other uh, folks that, that are in the real estate industry and uh, are thinking about social media or struggling to manage and distribute your social media. And I'm doing this, uh, mainly doing this video for my cousin Vanessa. She's our client relationship manager here at Redefine Horizons and she manages she manages most of our social media. So we use two boards to manage our social media, primarily two boards. So you see the first here is our content marketing board. That's basically where we organize and hold globs of content. <laughs> and a glob typically corresponds to a post. Uh, we also have a, another Trello board that I'm going to show you in a different video, which is just a weekly calendar. So that's where we actually schedule the, the content. And we're using Buffer to do that, but we, we track it in Trello and then and then move it to Buffer. And so I'll, I'll probably do a video that, that walks you through how we use Buffer too. Uh, Buffer is a cool tool, simple to use. And we're, we're primarily pushing media out on three channels. So we've got, we've got a couple YouTube channels. We have a, a Facebook, a couple Facebook pages that we use and then we have a LinkedIn couple uh, couple LinkedIn pages and so we we kind of divide our peer marketing content from our more educational content so you'll you'll see when we get into buffer we have learning channels and then we have our regular regular marketing channels so definitely any any content that's specific to surveying goes out on our, our learning channels not our marketing channels because other surveyors don't want to hear about our marketing so what I want to do in this video, I want to try and get through four things. I'm going to give you an overview of this content marketing board. I'm going to review uh, our campaign list, which is right here, show you how that works. Uh, I'm going to review campaign cards, which are here. I'm going to show you a typical content card. We're going to look at some on this repeatable post list. And then if we have time, we'll, we'll add a video promo post so you can see how we do that. So basically, the structure of this list is split up into planning and then content that's basically 90% ready to get scheduled and that dividing line is right here so everything to the left here is planning everything to the right here is ready to be scheduled so this these content globs over here should be ready to go or very close the content globs over here are, may, may not may just be empty they may just be a title and then we kinda have this oddball list here on the left it just has some writing tips and content marketing tips suggestions here that we kind of collect at random from the internet and uh, it's it's nice to have this here because we occasionally will look at this when we're trying to generate ideas for new content or different types of content so anybody can come in here and just add little uh, add little uh, quotes or suggestions that they want okay so the main part of the list starts here again we're on the planning side so these four lists here related to planning and so what we have is on this list, this is our campaign list. And so we, we run certain campaigns, different campaigns at different times. So right now we're doing a land title webinar series this spring. And so we've got a campaign to promote that. We're in the midst of the COVID-19 viral outbreak and the recession. So we've got some specific content we want to do on that. And then we have some other kind of uh, campaigns that are just ongoing from our knowledge base. So this is where we feature content that we've written in the past new stuff that's on our website then down here we have uh, this is a specific content not an ongoing one uh, seven ways that we provide value so we're gonna go ahead and develop a post on each one of these seven things they're gonna be part of a campaign and so what we do is we, you know basically come in here we might have a little description so we can add that to this this campaign educates our potential clients on the seven ways we work hard to deliver them value okay and then we've got the the individual posts here okay so 
that's how the campaign lists work. Then what we have here is we have posts that are part of campaigns, and you can see they get a label that says, well, they should. They should get a label that says campaign. So campaign post, I'm going to go ahead and add that to these. Okay, and these are no longer concepts. These are, these are the real deal, so we can take off the concept label. And what I try and do on these is put the name of the campaign first, just so we can keep track of that. So you can see right here, buying property during the COVID-19 recession, that's the name of the campaign. And then this is the, the name of these, this campaign is the Spring 2020 Land Title Webinar Series. And so these are individual posts that are, that are going to be crafted. You can see there's nothing here yet, but they're going to be crafted as part of these campaigns. And then just to show you, it's really easy if you come in here. So let's say this week I want to get out. We want to start this campaign on the seven ways we provide value. I can just come in here and click on this and say this first one and say convert to card. Okay, now it's a card. Okay, but I don't want to lose it. So we'll just type it back in. Okay, so this is going to be the first post, and then once I've created the card, I go ahead and you, know, you can go ahead and check that because we're going to get it filled out and we're going to get it scheduled. I'll actually check that after it's scheduled. Okay, so now, now I've got a card that's going to be part of a campaign, so we want to go ahead and label that. And then we're just going to edit the name so that we know which campaign is this for, seven ways to provide value. Okay, and let me just show you, there's there's a... There's a cool way in Trello, if, if you don't want those long titles, you can come in here to your power-ups and you can just add a custom field. Okay, so we've got custom fields now. We can come in here and I'm going to make a new field and it's gonna, just going to be text and it's going to be campaign name. And I want to say show it on the front of the card. So I want to create that. Okay, so now I can come in here and I'll have this field campaign name. And this is just going to make our titles a little easier to, a little shorter, a little easier to manage. So we can add that in here now. And you can see, BAME, now it's showing up there. That's really cool. I like that. Got that in the wrong list. So let's just go ahead and do that. We'll clean these up. Like I said, this is a work in progress. I actually like this a lot better. So that's why those custom fields are really cool. You can sort by those and search by those too, which is groovy. Okay, so this tracks campaigns. These are posts from an individual campaign that are in the planning phase. Then we have two more lists in the planning side. And we have what we call unique posts and repeatable posts. So unique posts are posts that we typically just post one time. And repeatable posts are posts that we're going to uh, post multiple times, and they're designed that way. And, you know, this is once a month, maybe once every couple weeks, these might get posted. So you can see right now we've got some some unique posts that are just kind of in the concept phase, right? Um, I'm going to just make a new label here. So these aren't these aren't uh, created yet. So they're uh, they're kind of blank globs or just shells. Okay, and then so if we have uh, a repeatable post we want to plan, they would go here. Okay, then after they're finished or mostly finished, they come over here to one of these four lists. So there's repeatable post, unscheduled, repeatable post, scheduled, unique post, unscheduled, and unique post, scheduled. Okay, and these campaign posts are generally going to be uh, unique posts. They're part of a campaign, so they'll come over here to the unscheduled section when they're ready to go. I don't think we have any of these ready yet. We don't. Okay. So this is where posts end up. They end up on one of these two lists, the unique post schedule or the repeatable post schedule. And I've got some that are ready to go here. So let's go ahead and move this over. This is a uh, repeatable post. It's also an article promo. So we're going to go ahead and check article promo. Okay, this is a, also an article promo and a repeatable post. Uh, 
Uh, oh, this is not. A, oh, this is a video too, so it's actually both. Okay, so this is a repeatable post, and then these are these are uh, also some repeatable posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna schedule these. We're gonna do five of them here, and then we've got a unique post. This is set up basically as a short blog post here that we're going to put up so we're going to go ahead and schedule that okay so the video is about 10 minutes what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video and then I'm going to do another short video that just shows you how we add a post so we've got a couple of new marketing videos that we want to promote so we're going to come in here and add those we're going to put them on the uh, the planning list first and then when we get them finished we'll move them over to the to the uh, uh, repeatable post schedule and we'll, we'll go ahead and get this move these to the calendar and get our our calendar set up for this week.